Welcome everybody to another installment of a Weekend Geekdom here on YouTube. It's a, it's a sad one, folks. It's not something that I wanted to make simply because I have a tendency of getting uh, emotional about these things because, well, I, I care too much and I care deeply about people and people I admire and love and all that stuff. So uh, this is completely improvised. This is sort of a, a, a rambling, I guess, uh, reflecting and sort of sort of a way to, for me to vent and express my gratitude uh, to this uh, wonderful creative uh, person that was and is uh, Stanley. Um, uh, unfortunately, Stan passed away at the age of 95, and so many people wish they could live the life that this uh, gentleman lived, uh, where he was able to use entertainment to fulfill and enrich the lives of so many people for so many years, decades, uh, to the point where practically the whole world is mourning. He, with his creations and helming uh, timely comics and then Marvel comics and all that stuff, it's a, it's a long-lasting legacy that I think, you know, I can't summarize. I can't speak for everybody. And there are probably a, a few other people that can do this better than I can. I'm just spe speaking uh, unfiltered or, or, or unedited of what Stan meant to me as uh, as a fan as, as someone who wants to believe in the power of dreams and what we can accomplish with the use of imagination and the creation of beloved characters that have become mainstays in popular culture that have become this sort of new uh, American mythology that we all love and follow that has been adapted so many times whether it be a, a book or uh, you know a collected edition or a video game or or just an image on your phone or or a movie all that stuff it, it, it the power to create something that transcends beyond what you thought and is able to impact someone that you don't know that is hundreds of thousands of miles away there's a connection there that it, there's this magical beautiful connection that is formed that I think is truly special and the world lost a, a titan if you will say what you will about uh, Stan's uh, uh, legacy and all that stuff, but the man was at the forefront of what made comic books so great. He was able to take all of these concepts and basically turn himself into, or the company, into this huge PR agent where, uh, you know, he was able to bring comic books and, and superheroes to the masses in a grandiose way, in a fantastic fashion. And of course, create some really amazing characters that have withstood the test of time. Uh, you know, from uh, Spider-Man, Thor, the Fantastic Four, Black Panther, Hulk, all these characters, the uh, uh, the proper uh, the Avengers, and all that stuff. It, it, there's so many characters, even even in the realm of original characters. When he did the whole uh, POW Entertainment thing and his original uh, animated movies and, and characters, uh, even when he went on to do a limited run on DC, doing uh, reinterpretations of beloved DC characters, Stan always had that exuberant. Uh, flair and gusto that I wish everybody could share and and that we all aspire to. He led a life worth living, full of happiness, good thoughts, good vibes, and just making people happy. I personally take inspiration in that because part of the reason that I do stuff online for you guys, whether it be a dumb video or the dumb reviews that I make or posting on, on social media and creating stuff, I've always wanted to entertain people. I've always wanted to create stories and, and, and just if 
I, I think I've said it in previous episodes, if I can put a smile on somebody's face for a couple minutes on their crummy day, then I think I'd have, I have done my job. You know, that's what I set out to do with this uh, show that I'd like to call a Week in Geek Them. And, uh, but speaking about the incredible, fantastic uh, Stanley, my favorite character, my favorite hero, is of course uh, Spider-Man. He's everybody's favorite. But uh, yeah, uh, he is my favorite hero simply because uh, you know he's so relatable, and we've all heard it before. He's so relatable. He's he's a young. Uh, at the time when he debuted, he was a teenager. He was a teen uh, hero with real problems, uh, no money, all that stuff. And it made Stan had this brilliant idea to make this character so relatable to the target audience that was reading those books in uh, the 50s and 60s and all that stuff that could relate to a young uh, costumed hero. He, the kids no longer had to look at, say, a Superman or a Captain America or something like that that's so buffed and, and adult. Now they had a hero that they could imagine... So, now they had a hero, sorry, that they could imagine themselves as. And... I thought that was so brilliant and so special, plus his team up with so many great artists on his run of Amazing Spider-Man and then working with Kirby on Fantastic Four, really creating the backbone of the Marvel Universe and creating the whole Marvel Universe itself. So much came out of Fantastic Four that Marvel Comics as a whole and the comic genre is still paying homage to and just the structure of the universe and the deities and the cosmos and all the characters and the uh, the functionality of how this world works and how interconnected all these characters are from the bad guys to the good guys you had a secret societies like the inhumans you had people down uh, at wakanda with black panther you had the, the cosmos with characters like silver surfer galactus so much came out of these epic collaborations between uh, Lee and, and Kirby, Steve Ditko, John Romita Sr., etc., etc. It's just uh, a beautiful thing when you can create so much awesomeness that it can live, outlive us all. Uh, by the time uh, we're done for on this uh, beautiful earth, these characters will survive for the following generations to enjoy and build upon. And, 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 you know, entice us to, or entice the next generation as well, to keep dreaming and keep using the power of imagination to move forward. And to that, I will be forever thankful uh, for Stanley to uh, have created all these characters uh, that we enjoy now in this golden age of comic book consumption with live action movies and, and animated stuff and, you know, all, all the joys of modern technology that we take for granted it's just so awesome to see all these characters brought to life and stan will be forever missed i i am very much looking forward to uh enjoying his final cameos in the upcoming uh, marvel movies but it's going to be sad when we do get to see that final one and we do get to see that uh tribute in uh the uh, movies for uh stan himself so yeah i am um I am a, a firm believer in faith, and and it's not the end. It's not uh, uh, the end. It's uh, to be continued. It's uh, see. You, it's not a goodbye. More of a see you later. Cause uh, yeah. Plus, I've always been a, a person that um, you know. I've always lived by great power and great responsibility that is a fantastic motto that i got as a kid i understood what that meant and i don't follow it like to a dime but it's something that has always been in the back of my mind every single day and how i live my life as heroically and as good as i can and i feel horrible when i see people uh hating on others and and being mean to each other and doing awful things and i don't wish that for people i wish that everybody could get along so when people read these stories 
I always wish that they could be inspired just the same way I was inspired a long time ago and I still continue to be inspired. I love the character of Spider-Man so much. He's always been there for me uh, since I could remember since I was uh, very little and I started liking superheroes and all that stuff. So uh, yeah, the character um, just uh, just uh, thanks. Thanks, Dan, for, um, thank you for, uh, everything, for, uh, creating, uh, my heroes and creating this wonderful universe. <laughs> thank you. Um, yeah. That's enough. There, 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 are, there it, it, at 95, you gotta realize that this man lived such a cool, awesome life that it's more about remembering and honoring and just being happy that we got to live in the same time as uh, Stan Lee and his many contributions to the comic book genre that will forever be as impactful as they were back then. They will still resonate many years to come, all thanks to this man, whether he, he was pushing for movies, TV shows, comics, online, everything. He did it with such a passion that if you're listening to this uh, podcasty version, if you want to take something away from this video and what I'm rambling about, take your passion, be good at it, and keep moving forward and do what you love and don't let that stop you. And if you are an uh, if you are an entertainer, then entertain the heck out of everybody, and and just bring that warmth, joy, and good spirit to everything that you do. That's what I wish uh, for you listening at home or wherever you may be. If you want to read something and you want to honor Stanley, then. Uh, yeah, man, just there's so many good stuff out there, uh, good things out there for you to check out. Of course, we're at everything. Everything started at Amazing Fantasy 15. If you can pick up that uh, those uh, Stan Lee Obneys for uh, Fantastic Four, Daredevil, uh, Spider-Man, uh, the, all the Avengers stories, Captain America stories, all that stuff, just give that a read. If you want to read a, a fun little memoir, I do recommend Amazing, Fantastic, Incredible. The uh, Marvelous Memoir of Stan Lee uh, is pretty awesome as well. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys. Thank you for uh, uh, <laughs> listening to my uh, uh, ramblings in my head uh, and this video. Uh, thank you once again for liking, commenting, subscribing uh, here at A We Can Geek Them. Uh, thank you so much. I will catch all of you on our next episode. Oh, and I did forget to say... Excelsior. Godspeed, everybody. God bless.